There is a Reaper script called JS underscore track effects grouping. Let's start off with the problem that this solves. So let's say we've got a compressor. Let's say comp fet 76. I'm going to put this on track one and two. And so if we want to make changes to these, we'd have to, you know, make those changes individually or through various means like um, by MIDI linking. So I would take the input parameter, go to parameters, MIDI link, make a 14-bit MIDI link, receive that from a controller. It's not an easy way to set things up, right? So if you want to have multiple channels of compression, distortion, anything really, where it's split across multiple channels, and you want each channel to have independent effects, but also be linked together. So you only have to tweak one EQ or one gate or one, one whatever it is. There's no easy way to do that until we get to a, a script. So Julian Sater has this script, which is in the reteams, uh, reteam scripts folder, provides grouping of track effects. When the script starts, it will detect tracks that are grouped by VCA or any other controls as customized in the script's user area. It will then continue running in the background. Any changes to the track effects of grouped tracks will be propagated to similarly, similarly named effects in other tracks in the same group. The color scheme in this editor drives you nuts. Yeah, I think this is better. You group the tracks together and then plugins that have the same name will be controlled together. Reaper's built-in track grouping does not have effects as something that can be controlled through grouping. Other DAWs do have that. Uh, Pro Tools has a pretty good system for that, for example, and I don't know about the other DAWs, but Pro Tools definitely does. The script can detect and propagate changes that are made directly in the effects UI, also values that are being recorded to track envelopes of effects parameters. If the envelope of a track parameter is in read mode, it will override rescript provided values, so changes cannot be propagated to such parameters. Okay, so um, read mode will override touching this um, the thing manually. You, you'd want to write into both tracks at the same time. Propagated values are also relative to the original values in each effects. So for example, it's a parameter in effects, track one has an original value of 10 when the script starts. The same parameter of an effect in track two has an original value of five. The script will move track two effects to 2.5 when the user moves track one effects to five. So you can do relative changes, which is pretty neat. The script is only active while Reaper's own track grouping is enabled. If track grouping is disabled or re-enabled, the script will reload all effects parameter values. Holding down shift while adjusting an effects fader overrides grouping and sets a new baseline value for that effect instance. While the script is running, it will try to detect any changes to track grouping and to effects chains, such as adding effects or copying effects chains. Unfortunately, this is not always reliable. For example, if the track is removed from a group and then added back immediately, the script will not realize that the track has been added back again. So there's some caveats here, but overall, it, it does seem pretty good. They also recommend setting up a toolbar button for this, so I'll do just that. Click on Add Action, add this button, rename this, text icon, FX group. Oh, well, I've, I've just ruined the look of my, my toolbar. So yeah, um, I've got a button here that will enable that, that script and it will show when it is running. So how do we group these together? By default, it's going to be the VCA group function. So we can right click, track grouping, track grouping parameters. So we can set this to VCA lead and VCA follow. That should work just like that. So run this script which just tapping that button in there. And now when I adjust one of these parameters, it should, should, <laughs> it for some reason didn't do that one, but maybe because it was already 
modify. There we go. Now they're synced. And I can do that from the controller. Yeah, so I can even do it from the X-Touch, which is pretty cool. So all those parameters are automatically linked now to the same effects on other tracks. And I can still independently change something by holding down Shift and, and moving it. So can I do Shift and... Yeah, Shift even works with a controller, which is not a, a common thing. So once I get them all down to the bottom, do they move? So sometimes they get out of sync, which is not ideal, but uh, let's do this again with... Um, do the kilohertz filter. Why did the track color change? I don't know. Um, okay, so filter on two tracks and I can adjust the cutoff and they move together and I can adjust the cue and can I adjust the filter type uh, yes it just doesn't want to from the controller but mouse clicks yeah so you could this could be like each guitar has its own high pass filter instead of one on the bus do you have to set this up each time you start Reaper? You could set this up automatically. Um, just have this run as a startup action. Step by step, again, to, to set to do this is... Um, I run this, terminate instance. All right, so you start with two tracks or more. Select them both. Right-click, track grouping, track grouping parameters. And you just want to set these to VCA, lead, and follow. I'm not sure if you need both of those. These are the ones that you're least likely to use outside of these other functions. So VCA lead is the one that we'll use here. I, I can see the polarity flip might be um, another option if, you, if you're already using VCAs. But if you're not using VCAs in your workflow, and I'm not, then this is a good way to do it. So set that to close. They're both in group one. Now we can add some... some uh, effects. So there is re-EQ to both of these. You don't even have to have the track selected. I'm, I'm just going to hit this group effects. Oh, it, it the script crashed. So I did run into this issue a couple times, but let's try selecting and then running. Is it running? Huh. Now it doesn't want to work. Of course. Now that I'm like recording it as if it's a video, now it doesn't work. Yeah, it was working. Now it's working. Can we do presets? Almost. Start with the same preset. Um, but yeah, we could... Uh, we can control that on two effects windows at the same time with a MIDI controller or with a mouse. Pretty sweet. Not having to worry about automation lanes. Um, often, if I wanted to do something like that, I would have to do it on one channel, usually monitoring in, in mono. And then um, once I get the settings right, I would just copy it to the next track. This thing almost works perfectly, but there's a couple of errors when you launch it and sometimes when, um, yeah, sometimes they get out of sync. That action again was called JS Track Effects Grouping. If you have Repack, you already have this. You should check it out.